at the International Meeting on Emerging Diseases and Surveillance, Dr. Timothy Brewer talked about recent growth of the One Health concept for preventing new human infections. So that led into the concept of recognizing that it's not enough to be just looking for human diseases and then trying to stop them once you recognize them. That if you really want to protect human health, you have to go farther up the chain, if you will, and actually try to recognize them in animals or recognize the conditions that allow them to spread from animals to people and see if you can't interrupt that. Another great example is avian influenza, H5N1, first described in 1997, but came back in 2003. And this is a disease that has about a 50% mortality in humans, but it's an animal disease. And what we're trying to do is prevent the spread from animals to humans. So I think the biggest impact so far has been in the field of research and public health. So what we're seeing is a lot more money going into looking at animal diseases and looking at the potential to spread from animals to humans. So that's certainly been a major development in the last five, seven years. Much more research into looking at what diseases are actually out there in animals that may have the potential to spread in humans and how, how do they spread? How does that transmission occur? I think the other place where we're really seeing change is on the surveillance side. And so now we're seeing public health agencies that traditionally have focused on looking at diseases in humans starting to look at diseases like West Nile in birds and animals as sentinel markers for potential outbreaks in humans. So I think those are where we're seeing the two biggest changes. So I suspect what's going to happen in the next one to five years is we're going to see a change in physician and healthcare worker education. And we're going to start to see more of an emphasis on recognizing determinants of health outside of the traditional risk factors like obesity and exercise and cigarette smoking to thinking more about things like environmental degradation and biodiversity. So I think that's going to start to percolate into medical schools, public health schools, and nursing schools. And then we're going to start to see an emphasis on veterinary uh, physicians and human physicians starting to collaborate more. So I think we'll see more coming together of the animal sciences and the human sciences to look at it in a more global and encompassing fashion. Mm -hmm.